all right guys welcome to another bork note gaming video um we're gonna be pretty much going over the patch notes this is gonna be like a really quick pace so let's go um this is gonna be a three hour maintenance right june 15th today um shout out to pdt people specific time um 8 to 11 uh, i'll have the time converter down below um king dark he's gonna be releasing great unit go over him more later and we have um, Flame Kun and Black March Bomb coming back. Good units, right? And then we have the Limited Summer Special Relics coming out. These are all really good. I'll go over it later. And then lastly, um, you know, we got the other world boss coming. This is a hype event. I'll go over it later. Um, it's really, it's gonna be pretty much a good opportunity for folks to get free things. Um, even as a free to play, you can still participate and you don't have to deal crazy damage. Um, the world boss, I believe, only ends when someone kills it. And I don't believe we're going to be killing this guy very quickly. And then lastly, we have the Odette monthly packages. So that's it for like the quick half of the patch notes. And now I'm going to go over it in more detail. All right. So this is going to be the later half of the video. I'm going to go over the King Hero Dark. Um, or King Dark, right? King Dark is an amazing unit, in my opinion. Not just for PvP, but also slightly for PvE. Uh, Shoutouts to John for giving me the idea and his elite uh, uh, elite guild uh, guildy member. You know, thank you so much. Um, I didn't realize what he could do. So let's get to it, right? Um, for King Dark, his S1 actually allows him to prevent the highest attacking unit from buffing for two turns, right? It doesn't strip though, and it only has a 50% probability. He's not the fastest unit, but the, th the fact that he has this ability, you can actually put this on... Um, like advent bosses right this is actually a pretty good ability where they can't buff this is Huar Yun's ability on an s1 this is amazing this is actually good for an s1 so good so good um his s2 lets him do pierce damage aoe pierce damage and also extends weaken status this is so good for pvp i'm not gonna lie to you it's all right for pve it's not like the greatest thing you know extends the weakened status is like pretty good icing on the cake um he's he you know he, he's not going to replace like a lot of units in my opinion but he has like cc which is actually really good for a unit like out of the box his s1 in particular you know just pretty much preventing buffs on advent boss would be really good um and then we have uh ancient dragon chupa for his s3 um, the biggest thing to know is his S3 locks down the, the opponent, right? You can actually prevent a unit from attacking. Um, this would be really good on Salamander. I'm not sure how it works on Phoenix because I haven't ran it. I'm not going to give my opinions on something I haven't ran before. And this would work really well on Kuvara as well. Um, there's no like percentage saying like you know it's going to fail or whatever. So I'm assuming that this lockdown um, is 100% with no debuff resist but you never know I, I feel like this this has like some debuff resist related to it um but yeah his s2 is going to be great for pvp but really his s1 and his s3 has really high potential for pve um his passive s2 is pretty much what makes him like stand above the rest as far as pvp goes so this doesn't work like flame kun's instant revive or revive on his s2 he actually just revives on his own for two turns um, what makes this a little, like, weird is because if he dies on turn 1, that can't technically counts as a turn. So the next turn when he attacks, um, it still counts as, you know, two turns, but following that, it's one turn, right? So it's a little weird in my opinion, it's a little weird. Um, but at the same time, this makes it so that for two turns, uh, for two attack turns, he can pretty much deal, like, as much damage as possible and then you know bounce out so he can at least you know do an aoe pierce or an attack lockdown and then he can just jump out of the uh, uh, out of the battle i'm out he's still like a fantastic unit um his attack is okay his defense is okay like all of these stats are kind of like average in my opinion like 496 speed uh fastest unit heavenly warlord is 544 but overall, he's not a bad unit, and he does have viability in PvE, specifically with his S1 and S3. Um, should you pull for him? Imo, like, you don't have to pull for him. He's not like, you have to pull. Like, the have to pulls are still Prime King, Uma, and Unleashed Rizal. But this is a fun unit. 
All right, so let's go over the relics now. The relics are actually pretty interesting in my opinion. Um, there are they are very very waifu. Uh, shout out again to Hua Yunbot and the creator. Um, you can actually access all of this info already and get like a full breakdown, um, the stats and everything. The ones that I want to focus on are all of them. Um, so when using a single attack, ignores pretty much defensive stats and deals 100 fixed damage. This would be like extremely broken for someone like a, uh, you know, max leveling warrior. Shout out to John again for giving me the idea, you know, um, and to the guildie that was talking about this. This could be an insanely busted relic for max leveling warrior. So plus it's, you know, of course it's waifu. Then we have special vacation with arms. Um, this is absolutely amazing as well. First turn decreases by 40%. The amount of damage decreases reduced by 10% um, each turn. So like, this is great for tanks. Imagine if you had the besties relic plus the vacations uh, relic with arms. The thing is, is um, you see here on the Huaryun bot, they all say R. So they they're not tied to a specific, uh, you know, a specific elemental attribute or what have you. They're not like it's only god types or whatever. So this could be really good if you paired this with you know other tanky relics, the key relic, right? And then we have the beach girl party, uh, super waifu. I love like the grill party, like such great memes, right? Um, overall, I think this one's like decent, like it's really decent. 12% HP boost is definitely much higher than the B Relic alternative. And plus you get a crit hate, uh, rate bonus. So overall, I think this is pretty good for an SS Relic. Great for tanks as well. Um, and then lastly, we have for the good tan. This is, uh, yeah, words cannot explain how I feel right now. Removes one weakening status with 75% probability and recovers 10% HP if removal succeeds. Uh, this would be great for counter units. Maybe my Jin Mori could use this, but I'm not sure. Overall, this is a fantastic set of relics. And those are my thoughts on it, alright? Alright, welcome back to this part of the video. This is going to be going over the Pinocchio boss. Uh, spoiler alert. One, two, three. You had a chance, alright? This guy actually becomes a unit. Sorry for my voice going up like that. Apologies. Um... This guy actually becomes a unit um, later on in the game. Um, I don't know if he's great, to be honest with you, but he is like a pretty cool looking unit overall. Um, so for this world boss event, excuse me, um, his mechanics are similar to guild boss where uh, you're going to be ranked on like other players on who does the most damage. You're going to have uh, five tickets, I believe, to run it. You have a limited amount of entries. And essentially, there's actually a leaderboard in order to get the relics that I was talking about earlier. So you'll see down here, here's the leaderboards, right? And this is the KR patch notes, but it's in more detail than the English patch notes. The English patch notes or the global patch notes come out a little bit later. But essentially, you know, we got 1 through 10,000. I'm assuming like these are coins, right? And I'm assuming that these are like how much it costs to... Uh, get a relic I'm assuming um, But that's just like my assumption. I can't read Korean, but regardless this this seems pretty cool. Um, I Don't think like they match like reward wise like I don't know what these mean But it's really cool that these SS relics are gonna be like PvE oriented like not effect wise But how to tame then wise? Um, but we never know you, you might not be able to pull it um, but you might be also be able to get this hero, right? There, there's a possibility, but I'm not sure. Um, says 10 adventure tickets are required, but five admissions opportunities is possible, right? So what that means is the stamina tickets are known as 10 adventure tickets. So this actually costs less than going into a hard mode run. Um, the biggest thing that I want to take note of is there's only five admission op opportunities. So you want to leverage yourself in a way so that, you know, you maximize how many time, like how much damage you do within those five runs. Um, I don't think the quit out mechanic will work for this because uh, th this is using stamina tickets. Um, and when you're starting to use stamina tickets, uh, the game gets like a little bit more like different because stamina tickets work differently from like Fiesta tickets where you can quit out, right? Uh, tips if you didn't know that already. I don't know if it's a glitch or not, but it it's working, right? Um, but essentially the biggest thing that you have to take note of is that you're going to be ranked against people and 
in KR or JP when I was playing, people can like almost like 50% this dude. Um, I don't know if there's any players that can 50% this man, um, but I'm pretty sure the whales can do it. You know, the whales can definitely probably like absolutely annihilate this man. Um, overall, it's going to be a really fun like PvE event, right? Um, and it's going to be amazing working towards something where, you know, I showed off these relics already and they're actually really good. Like none of them, in my opinion, are like, like horrible. All of them are decent and can work in their own way. Uh, generalized and they're all general relics which is the best part um, I would and that's all I'm gonna say cuz I don't want to say they're like amazing right they're good they're good they're not the best but they're good um, so I can't wait to see how world boss works out thanks for watching drop some comments down below and all that jazz you know I would greatly appreciate it I love like interacting with everyone in the comment section but anyways I'll check you out later all right